Now, this, this morning's reading from the Gospel is, is uh, quite interest, interesting. Whenever um, Jesus and his disciples crossed the Sea of Galilee, um, they arrived in, over on the east side of Palestine, and that area was known as the De Decapolis. You know, there was ten cities, and in the Decapolis there was ten borderland cities, and one of them was called Gadara, and so that's where you get the name Gadarenes. The other interesting thing is it was uh, occupied by, by the Roman and part of the Roman Empire. So when they went over there, they were very much in Roman territory. Now the two demoniacs coming out of the tomb, um, it reminds me of the story happened back, back in Ireland. Um, there was a man who was very fond of, of, of the drink. His wife, and he came home every night, uh, late at night, and on his way home, he had to pass the cemetery. So his wife, tired of him coming home every night, drunk, uh, decided to ask somebody to hide behind the cemetery wall, and when he was passing by, to, to jump out, with a white sheet over their head and, uh, and, and frightened him. And so this night he was on the way home and this guy jumped, jumped out with a white, in a white, wearing a white sheet and said, hello, hello, I'm the devil. And the drunk stretched out his hand and said, oh, glad to meet you. I've been married to your sister for 25 years. <laughs> That's only... <laughs> Don't laugh, it's only, it's, only a, it's only a little joke. Anyhow, the in interesting part of the Gospel this morning is the fact that the, de the demon said, recognize he was the Son of God, and asked him, what have you got? What have you to do with us? And they asked him to. They asked God. They asked Jesus, cast us into the head herd of swine. Now, why would there be swine there? Pigs, because as you know, um, uh, the pigs never touched uh, pork or bacon. It was against their their law. So, so what were the swine doing there? And they were there because. It was occupied by Roman territory, and they were probably being raised by the Romans to be import or exported to Rome. And that would explain why, why there were pigs there. Now, the important lesson of the story, and it applies very much to, to today, is that by casting the demons into the herd of swine, and then the swine jumping over the cliff into the sea and being lost, would have been, Jesus would have been very aware it would be um, a protest against the occupation by the Romans, um, totally objecting to, to the Romans being there. It would be an uh, insult to uh, the emperor and to his religion, because the emperor thought he was the supreme religious leader. And here was Jesus driving the herd of swine into the sea, uh, making a very political statement. Today, if any priest um, dares to mention anything about politics or the culture in which we live, he's often con condemned. Interesting, isn't it? And so there was Jesus this, this, this morning, very much opposing and condemning the culture over on that side, um, the other side of the Sea of Galilee. And that, that ultimately cost Jesus his life, because Jesus was not crucified on the cross because he was a bad person or because he had committed a serious crime but because he dared to speak out against the authority of the time, which was bad 
and evil. So this interesting, interesting lesson in the gospel this morning. And so if we, and that's you, you and me here this morning, if we are true Christians and true followers of Christ, then we got to be different. We, we got to stand up and not be part of everything that's going on out, out there at times. And we must, be, we must be able and have the courage to take a stand for what is right. For what is right. That's our calling as Christians.